Hello everyone. Most of the people don't know the difference between IP address and MAC address. Today I'm gonna talk about it. So bear with me. Every computer on the internet has two types of addresses, physical and logical. Physical address is also called MAC address or hardware address. And logical address is also known as IP address of the device. Devices need both addresses to start communication, but they work in different ways. Let's go over the primary differences. The main difference between MAC address and IP address is that MAC address is used to identify a device, while IP address is used to locate a device on the network. Another major difference is MAC address is responsible for local identification and IP address for global identification. Alright, let's discuss the MAC address first. MAC address is a 48 bit address and consists of 12 hexadecimal digits, usually grouped into six pairs, separated by hyphens. First half of the number is typically used as a manufacturer ID, while the second half is a device identifier. This number is hard coded or burned into the NIC card during the manufacturing process. It is permanent and cannot be changed. MAC address is used at data link layer of OSI model. MAC address of a device is retrieved by using ARP protocol. The purpose of MAC address is to make devices to talk to each other. Whenever devices want to communicate, it's done by using a MAC address, whether the devices are in the local network or over the internet. All right, now let's get into the details of IP address. IP address is a unique identifier given to a device connected to the network. As I mentioned earlier, IP address is used to locate a device on the internet. It's like a home address that tells us where the home is located, but it doesn't tell us who lives in the home. This is what a MAC address tells us about who lives in the home. So an IP address tells us where the device is located and a MAC address tells us who the device is. I hope now you understood. IP address are provided by ISPs. They are not permanent. Keep changing every time you connect to a network as they are dynamically allocated to your device when it joins the network. IP address works on the network layer of OSI model. There are two versions of IP addresses, IP4 and IP6. IP4 address is 32-bit address, whereas IP6 is 128-bit address. For more information on IP4 and IP6, click on the link in the description. IP address for a particular connection in a network can be retrieved by using a reverse address resolution protocol. Let's take an example for a better understanding. Here we have a local area network. Let's say device A wants to communicate with device B. So device A is going to check device B's IP address whether it is on the same network or not. After checking, device A finds out that device B is on the same network. So in order to start communication, device A needs device B's MAC address. And this can be done by sending out ARP broadcast to every device on the network, asking device B to identify itself by providing MAC address. Once device B tells its MAC address to device A, communication can be started between device A and B. Okay, so what happens if two devices are on a different network? This is where IP address comes into the play. Let's suppose you want to open YouTube. So in order to go to YouTube, you need MAC address of YouTube's server, but you don't know what it is. So that's why you need IP address to get the server's MAC address. You will type youtube.com in a web browser and DNS will change youtube.com into an IP address so the devices could understand. Now the device will check YouTube's IP address and notice that it's not on a local network. It's on a different network. Because it's on a different network, you are going to forward the data packet to the default gateway or a router and let the router deal with it. So again, you will send out an ARP broadcast, but this time you will ask for the MAC address of a router, 
once the device has a mac address it will send the data packet to the router and once the router has the data packet it will check youtube's ip address and define the best route for the data packet to reach its destination so it will forward the data packet to the next router but before it does it also needs the mac address of the next router this also runs an arp broadcast to ask for the next router's mac address once it has it will forward the data packet and then that router needs the mac address of the next router and so on once the data packet reaches its final router that router needs the mac address of the youtube's server once it has the data packet has reached the final destination okay so in a nutshell mac address is used at each stop on its way to the last destination an ip address is used to locate and reach the final destination if you want to know more about default gateway and arp protocol you should watch my old videos by clicking on the link below in the description all right so this wraps up today's video thanks for watching i do appreciate it please don't forget to hit the subscribe button